All right, so let's get right into this Jeffrey Epstein's unsealed court documents. Now, it has been a long time. Everybody has been expecting, waiting to see this, but it is not exactly the way a lot of people are thinking it is going to be. A lot of people are thinking when these court papers are going to be, when these court documents are going to be unsealed, the names of his associates, friends, and all of the people that have traveled to the island, his islands, and people that have been on his plane, visited his home, that they will just list all of them and say who did what to underage girls or whatnot but trust me it is not what it is welcome back entertainment daily lovers and if you love gist we cover celebrity gist okay trending topics youtubers content creators gist and we're here to give you critical analysis all right so let's get right into this hot hollywood celebrity mighty names okay politicians big names in the hollywood industry uh and um mm -hmm. okay so jeffrey epstein reportedly we're just going to be picking from here and there we're not going in any form or fashion because they said the document is going to be massive a whole lot is coming out so we're just going to be giving you part by part enjoy it as we go all right so that being said hmm Allegedly said that Jeffrey Epstein reportedly told one of his victims that Bill Clinton likes them young in unsealed court documents. <laughs> I will first of all give you some of these headings before we will get right into the main thing. Another one here says unsealed uh, documents mentioned Michael Jackson, that's the late Michael Jackson, being present at Jeffrey Epstein's house in Palm Beach, although no illegal act were listed. Okay, we're also going to dive right into that one. Now, let's keep going. Okay, here's another one. Jeffrey, Epstein fi Jeffrey Epstein's files mentions Prince Andrew. He's accused him, they accused him of grubbing women's breast and more. Okay, and more. <laughs> That's a prince, so okay here he said because the maxwell reportedly has nothing to say about jeffrey epstein or publicly released document why would she okay another one here that we have here says donald trump naomi campbell and al gore were mentioned in jeffrey epstein's file so y'all know we've mentioned the president like not only one because Donald Trump is also mentioned. So Bill Clinton and Donald Trump both are ex-presidents of the United States. The prince we're talking about, we're talking about the prince that is from England. Okay. <laughs> Queen Elizabeth family members. All right. And so many other big names that were mentioned here. Michael Jackson and many, many more. So let's um, wait. Okay, so let's go back and start with this Bill Clinton file. Okay, but now, like I said earlier, a lot of people were expecting that these uh, pap these court documents are going to just list out all the names and then maybe in, in front of your name, it will list what you did, what uh, was your connection to the late um, Jeffrey uh, Epstein but that's not what it's about this is a whole like if you don't love if you don't enjoy reading you wouldn't even have the time okay because a lot of people that were mentioned here were maybe just friends people that were just visiting people that were things that are like, just normal things that were really that were really accused of any crime that could send them to jail so let's take the first one which is um uh, uh okay so let's see hmm she's jeffrey Epstein. list is out a lot of people were expecting that i think it came out on wednesday and uh according to the court document obtained okay this one by tmc so shout out to tmz and hollywood unlock because that's where i'm getting the stuff so it's actually already told one of his victims that bill uh, bill clinton loves them young so let's read this okay there's a little bit of screenshot of uh what the court documents say so he said let me back up i guess this is a question and he says do you know if bill clinton was a friend of jeffrey epstein that's a question 
and uh, the person said i knew he had dealings with bill clinton i didn't know they were friends until i read the vanity fair article about them going to africa together another question did jeffrey ever talk to you about bill clinton that's a question and the response was he said one time that clinton likes them young referring to girls <laughs> that's an ex-president that man has been accused of a whole lot of shit man <laughs> anyways let's move up the next one we're going to pull up is his uh connections with michael jackson so here he says uh did you ever meet any famous when you were with jeffrey that's a question I guess they wanted to say famous person, but they just said, did you meet any famous when you were with Jeffrey? The other person said, I met Michael Jackson. The question was, oh, really? And where was that? At his house in Palm Beach. At Jeffrey's house in Palm Beach. Did you massage him? I did not. So this is where I'm saying some of the persons that are, that were mentioned here are not guilty of any crime. Here, the person is clearly saying, yes, I met famous people, likes of Michael Jackson, that was present at Jeffrey Epstein's home. And they asked, did you massage him? You know what a massage could be? You could be massaging his, <clears throat> the third leg, that thing be in between men's, uh -huh, you know what I mean? Did you massage or did you do anything? And the person said, no, they did not. It continued and he said, here... Uh, you were asked about the famous people uh, you said you met Michael Jackson. The person responded and said, yes, but you did not give him a massage. She said, the person said, no, let's continue. Okay, so I think that's that for this one. Okay, so, so let me back up a little bit. Uh, okay, so that this one includes when I said, did you know if Bill Clinton was a friend of Jeffrey Epstein? Okay, I think we've, we got that one. It was included on this michael jackson's part let's keep going up so the next one we're going to pull up is uh jeffrey epstein's file mentioning prince andrew and he was accused of grubbing women's breast and more <laughs> corrupt prince an official out a queen of england <laughs> okay all right so here it says Hmm. Epstein filed on sealed Prince Andrew's accusation of grubbing women's breasts and more names and allegation. A woman who uh, a woman who says she was a victim of uh, the deceased convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein alleged in a 2016 deposition that Prince Andrew grubbed her breast at Epstein's home in New York City in 2001. According to court filings that were unsealed on Wednesday night. So these court filings were unsealed on Wednesday night. So this is fresh. This is hot. Hot topic. Hot and trending. All right. The documents include a deposition from Epstein accuser Joanna Sojobek. I hope I didn't murder that name, but anyways. Who said Prince Andrew placed his hand on her breast while posing for a group photo with, with uh, is it Geoffrey? Epstein, Maxwell, and a what, and a puppet bearing Andrew likeness. According, uh, okay, and the okay, and Andrew's likeness. Andrew has reportedly denied any wrongdoing. Why not? Big names, they never admit to anything. Okay. A motion filed in the case in 2014 on behalf of the alleged victim of Epstein's, uh, of Epstein's identified only as Jane Doe 3, claimed that Jane Doe 3 was forced to have, you know, S -E -X, uh, sexual relations with Prince Andrew. When, okay, when she was a minor, in three separate geographical location <laughs> locations excuse me <laughs> like seriously like <clears throat> did y'all did you all hear that or do i even have to think like she was a mind like this person was an underage and this person was asked by epstein by off not asked he said quote was forced to have sexual relations with prince andrew when she was a minor in three separate geographical location close like this is a quote okay like 
you, you, you. This is hard. Let's continue. Sexual abuse of, of the sexual abuse of Jane Doe three and others. Maxwell also took uh, numerous mm, sexually explicit pictures of underage girls. No wonder she's in jail. Um, of underage girls involved uh, involved in sexual activities, including Jane Doe three. She shared these photographs, which constituted child pornography pornography under applicable federal laws with epstein the government is apparently aware of and in certain instance possess, um, in certain instances mm, let us in certain, in certain instances uh possession of some of these photographs perhaps even more important to her, even more important to her role in Epstein's sexual abuse ring, Maxwell had direct connection to other powerful individuals with whom she could connect Epstein's for um, instance. One such powerful individual, Epstein's first forced Jane Doe 3 to have sexual relationship with was a member of the British royal family, Prince Andrew. Do I have to take that again? Here, this court document is saying that one of those highly influential people that this Jane Doe 3 was forced to have, and you know, in the other room with, was actually a member of the British royal family, Prince Andrew, a.k.a. Duke of York. Men? <laughs> Uh, yeah, this world is something else. All right, let's continue. Jane Doe 3 was forced to have natural relations with the prince. Like, I'm not going to be saying that word clearly. So when you hear me say, eh, 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 know what I'm talking about. So Jane Doe 3 was forced to have sexual relations with prince when she was a minor in three separate geographical locations. Did you all hear that? One, she was a minor in three different, they said different, am I, diff, they said in three separate geographical location, three separate geographical location. Let that sink in. So this minor is being flown abroad, being flown to different geographical locations just to go service the, the Duke of York, Prince Andrew. Hi. Some people are sick in this world, though. Seriously. Now, where was I, Seth? I don't even know anymore. You guys, I'm, I'm just, I'm just shocked. <laughs> I'm just shocked at, at what I'm, I'm reading. But anyway, let's keep going. Okay, see, ge geographic locations in London at uh, Gasoline Ma Maxwell's apartment. Can you imagine? And this is supposed to be a woman also, and she's bringing an underage girl to come and service their Duke of York. Well. <laughs> English people are no blame on. Uh, so okay, so in Maxwell's um apartment in New York and on Epstein's private island in the U.S. Virgin Island, this American people, English people, now on day on our body. So anyway, in um the Virgin uh Island, okay, in an orgy with numerous other. Whoa, whoa. Ho, ho, ho. Let's take this again. In an audio, in numerous other uh, underage girls. Hey. So it's not even only this uh, Jane Doe 3, but with numerous other underage. This, this, this Duke of York, no well. Allegedly. Well, I don't know why I should be saying allegedly. He's, this is a court document that was released. I'll, I'm not the one that said it. Anyway, so continue. You know, okay, okay. So where are we? Where am I now? Underage. Okay. Uh, Epstein instructed Jane Doe three that she was to give the prince whatever he demanded, and required Jane Doe three to report back to him on the details of the oh boy sexual abuse. Uh, Ma Maxwell facilitated prince andrew's act of sexual abuse by acting as a madame for a bit of a madame or whatever they call them madame or madame <laughs> europe people are, of course, I don't know. 
for Epstein's uh, thereby assisting in uh, international trafficking of Jane Doe 3 and numerous other young girls for sexual purposes. Another person in Epstein's inner circle of friends who became um, apparent with let's let's get who who became apparent with uh, almost no inve no investigative effort is Jean Lucas Brunel. Epstein sexually at, um, trafficked Jane Doe three to Jean Luc Brunel many times. Uh, the Brunel was another of um, Epstein's closest friend and a regular traveling companion who had many contacts with young girls throughout the world. Hey, throughout the world, though, chai. Hmm. Brunel has been a model scout. Oh, ho. Ah, model scout. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. So this one comes in contact with young beautiful girls that are uh, looking to be models hmm. he has been a young model scout for various modeling agencies for many years and apparently was able to get a u.s um this one con continues right yeah so you see it was easy for him to get girls because he was a model scout okay so here it says uh, Maxwell's lawyer, Arthur Edin, said on uh, News Nation's uh, Kumo that Maxwell has nothing to say about the impending release of names, but that the former socialite takes issues with the fact that the only person facing consequences over the rampant sexual trafficking of young girls is a woman. I don't think she has anything to talk about, except maybe that if you look at this crime, this overall crime it's all about men abusing women for a long period of time and it's only one person in jail a woman they all said maxwell remained the only person incarcerated over the ramp uh, over over the rampant abuse she worked with uh, over, over the rampant abuse she worked to facilitate epstein himself died by suicide in prison in 2000 and um in 2019 look this maxwell can you, you can take several seats this lady you can take several seats it, yeah one one can some people will try to feel pity for someone like this but what did epstein hold a, a, a gun to her head and forced her into uh this type of um uh, you know doing what she's doing I don't feel sorry for you, girl, but I hope they should have sentenced you to life in prison because you, you should have broken up with that sick man and, 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 you know, go ahead living your life and exposing the hell out of him earlier. But you didn't do that. You were enjoying all the goodies and everything that came with that, that, that sick lifestyle. And, and you were busy trafficking young and underage girls. Now you're in jail. You're complaining that it's only, didn't it occur to you that it kind of, if all these names that have been mentioned, the, 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 the um, uh prince of duke uh, be york the duke of york uh, be the whatever the prince uh prince andrew uh bill clinton donald trump and all these big names do you think when something will go down they will be the first ones to go to jail or it will be you well good for you saves you right now you know okay we still have more that we are going to be getting into but i really don't think whatever this lady said is making any type of sense because you should have known big names like this. It will take time. And if it will ever happen. So now the next one we're going to uh, dive right into is um, Donald Trump, Naomi Campbell, and Al Gore mentioned in Jeffrey Epstein's file. Okay. Because this file, a lot of, like I said, a lot of people are mentioned in it. So it said, one of Epstein's victims details a birthday party with world-famous supermodel Naomi Campbell. Now, this one is getting a whole lot of buzz because a lot of people just read the headlines and they don't even bother to wait to see what is written in the documents. They just feel like Naomi Campbell is guilty of something. But let's get right into this. So it said, one of the Epstein victims detailed birthday the party with world famous supermodel Naomi Campbell. Hmm. Virginia Jeffrey, one of Jeffrey Epstein's victims, described going on a trip with her uh with her abuser and attending a world famous supermodel Naomi Campbell's birthday party following the encounter. Said by Ms. Merla. Okay, 
where were you okay where were you sent to have sex with the owner of a large hotel chained by Gesell Maxwell this lady is is is, is really really sick this Gesell this Gesseline Maxwell with a terrible name she has she's really a terrible person anyway and Mrs. Edwards said object to the form he said i believe that was one time in france by miss Me miss meninge or whatever which time in france i believe it was around the same time that naomi campbell had a birthday party so this is what brought in naomi campbell into this whole thing and they made it look like naomi campbell was guilty uh for doing something but it just seemed like this person could remember attending a birthday party of a famous model and that was naomi campbell and she was traveling alongside her abuser this sick jeffrey Epstein that decided to unleave himself immediately he was caught and, and sent to prison i don't even know how they did not remove all the bed and everything that would have enabled this man to commit suicide sometimes i feel like he was actually assisted to do this Anyway, so she said, uh, Naomi, uh, Naomi, Camp uh, ha Naomi Campbell had a birthday party. Okay. And a question came again and said, where did you have uh, sex with the owner of a large hotel chain in France around the time of Naomi Campbell's birthday party? It said, in his own cabana townhouse thing. It was part of a hotel. It was part of a hotel, but I won't call it a hotel. Jeffrey was staying there. Gaslane was say, Gaslane was staying there. Amy was staying there. I was staying there. This other um girl, I think, was staying there. It continued. Bill Clinton and Donald Trump both factored in the court file, partially because uh this Gurif. This person's name is very difficult to pronounce. Jurif or Gurif was questioned by uh, Maxwell's lawyer about inaccuracy in newspaper stories about her time with Epstein. One story quoted her as saying she had ridden in a helicopter with Clinton and flirted with Trump. Gurif said neither of these things actually happened. She hasn't accused either former president of any wrong doing hmm okay oh even if they do you know go gray accuse them because you know they're gonna only leave you straight <laughs> all right so question said did you ever did you ever see donald trump at jeffrey's home okay and says not that i can remember on his island no not that i can remember in new mexico no not that i can remember in new york not that i can remember all right if you could turn to the second page and read through those let me know okay let me know if so here it says in 2002 and 2003 president clinton took a total of four trips to jeffrey epstein's airplane renal renal road also uh it's been nearly 20 years since President Clinton last had contact with Epstein. <clears> Orena <throat> told B.I. Okay, there is no evidence that Gore ever visited the island. Okay, oh. question. Did Prince Andrew say or do anything that led you to believe that he had met uh, he had met Virginia prior to that time. I don't recall. The answer, the person said, I don't recall. Another question said, did you ever see or did you ever see Al Gore on the island? Answer, no. Did you see his wife, Tipa Gore, on the island? Answer, no. So, well... Some of these people, I feel like they will be afraid to actually say some of the things that they would, that they might really want to uh, say. So who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Do you get? So the court documents, I believe it's going to be a whole lot. So if you want to know everything about it, 
you have to be patient. You have to read up so you can see the names and you can know what these people are guilty of or what they are not guilty of. Some people are just guilty by association because some people were just mentioned just because they were friends with um, the sick Jeffrey Epstein. And it's possible that some of these people did not even know what Jeffrey Epstein was up to. But they were just his friend and loved enjoying his party. Well, we're not making excuses for anyone. But I just feel like mentioning Naomi Campbell's party, a birthday party, they almost made it look like Naomi Campbell actually had something to do. Or maybe Naomi Campbell was also supporting or actually helping to bring blood. Nothing. This was just this person trying to remember when something tragic happened to them and they could remember that it was during Naomi Campbell's birthday and from maybe from the birthday party and all of that they went to Jeffrey Epstein's place or the hotel where that abuser was staying and that's how she was chained to the bed and then uh, then abused by these people so let me know in the comment section what do you think about all of these revelations that you've had well there are more to uh catch up to but i feel like it will take a long time before all of these names will be out and another thing that i i think because i feel like people would have been able to they would have been able to actually select the names of the people that are actually guilty of something and also then maybe release another list of names where they will say okay these ones were just people that associated people that were just connected but were not guilty of any crime but this that they are producing all the documents and people will have to go and read through they know that a lot of people are not that patient and they will not be able to go searching go reading through and trying to find out oh who is guilty of what and who is not guilty of what uh and like the case of michael jackson where they said he was there in epstein's home but the, the uh victims confirmed that they did not give him massage or do anything so he's actually not guilty of anything he was just present the thing is nobody knows he's no longer even alive so nobody knows if he knew the type of lifestyle that um, uh, epstein was living and epstein and all this his famous friends were living or he didn't know but he was just epstein's friend since a lot of celebrities a lot of politicians a lot of big names were associates of this sick jeffrey epstein uh same with naomi campbell naomi campbell is a model so she's always going to be in the company of all those famous celebrities other celebrities politicians and all of that if she's doing something people they want to attend if they're doing something she will be invited so so after party and everybody goes back to their hotel or goes back to their home or whatnot, and Naomi Campbell and the rest of them are not going to know what people are doing and she's not going to know everybody that attended her birthday party and the last thing that we want to come to her, that we want to cross her mind is that these people are trapped. But one of the questions I want to ask, how is it that they were, how is it that they were able to traffic these young ladies easily? Yeah, so like, like, I, like I said, Naomi Campbell, okay, um, what I was saying was, how are they able, or how were they able to really traffic uh, all of these girls? Uh, because we're saying these girls were on the age. How is it that it was so easy for most of them to be traveled? Because they were talking about different separate ge geographical areas. So people are being flown out of. I just wonder, I feel like parents at some point need to be blamed also. When you have a young child at least in some of these gigs that they'll be going for it. I be I'm believing most of them were models or wanted to be models or something. Uh, if you know that you're putting your child out there to do this type of job, at least you should also be available. Try your best to also try, mostly when it has to do with traveling out of state, out of country, they are going very far. You should have someone that you trust go with them all through if you're not able to go because of work or anything. And I think that's just one thing and i think when people like this are traveling with younger people they should be scrutinized more but sometimes i feel like when people are super connected they are able to just easily do things without nobody monitoring in the case of jeff and, and donald also have and most of these rich people have their private jets so i believe they, it is easy for them to just load whatever they want to load illegal stuffs and do their illegal uh dealings shady dealings all on this private um 
a jet and just fly from one country to the other, fly from one continent to the other, and nobody is checking anything because, of course, it's a famous person. So everybody is expecting that person to be upright, and you know, because the person is rich, the person is famous. So for some reason, the person is doing the right thing. We will keep bringing more of this story as more names pop out. Thank you so very much. Don't forget to subscribe, share. See you on, on the next.